Hi everyone! In this video, we'll try to find the answer to the question What is the difference between QA and QC and testing? Many people refer to doing QA when they are actually doing testing, and some job titles refer to QA when they really mean testing. Let's find out why this happens. What does the official literature say about this issue? We will use the ISTQB as official literature. If you don't know what is ISTQB, we will provide a link to the website in the materials for the lecture. You can pause the video and read definitions on your own. But we can agree that the difference between these concepts is vague and unclear. Especially QA and QC definitions are very similar. The meaning, if not the same, is nearly the same. So we decided to Google the answer to this question. But you already know what we can find on the Internet if official resources don't answer questions clearly. That's right, there is a holy war going on. This means you can say whatever you want, nobody will be able to prove that you're wrong. All you need to do is find a camp to join. The safest and easiest way to survive in this holy war is to join the biggest and strongest camp. Let's find out what instructors from the camp says. This is one of the most controversial questions in software theory. So you can find a lot of articles that explain the differences between the QA, QC and testing terms. The main problem is that articles refer one to another, so you can't find the real source of truth. Which means you can select whatever you like and go with it. As we said, the easiest way to select the biggest camp in the Holy War. If we look carefully on the screenshot, one scheme prevails. It looks like this. The QA is the biggest circle, which includes the QC circle, and QC includes the testing. So, the testing is the smallest process and part of both QA and QC. Everybody loves the schema, because it proves that our job is not just testing. We are not testers, we are QAs. We have more responsibilities than just testing. So, if you like this explanation, you can go with it. But in our opinion, this scheme is a little wrong. Let us explain why. There is the ISO 9000 standard, related to quality management systems. You can check the definitions of quality assurance and quality control. According to the definitions, both QA and QC are parts of quality management. But the definition doesn't say that QC is part of QA. And a similar explanation we can find in the ISTQB syllabus. You can pause the video and read it on your own. That is literally all the information that ISTQB provides related to the QA, QC and testing. And we will now give our understanding of these theoretical words. First of all, both QA and QC are parts of larger concept of quality management. So we draw a big QM circle. We don't have any information about the relations between QA and QC processes. What we know is that quality control involves various activities, including test activities. So we will draw two circles, one for quality control and one for testing. And even if it's not specified that quality control includes all test activities, the testing circle will draw inside the QC circle. And we have the sentence related to testing, since quality assurance is concerned with the proper execution of the entire process, quality assurance supports proper testing. Quality assurance is typically focused on adherence to proper processes, in order to provide confidence that the appropriate levels of quality will be achieved. Based on those, we assume that the entire schema looks something like this. Both QA and QC are parts of QM, but QC is not part of QA. QA just supports QC. Because QA is concerned about all processes related to quality, the testing is part of QC, and it is also supported by QA. 
You can pause the video and check this one more time. We know that this does not answer the question, what are the responsibilities and duties in different job positions? But the official literature does not mention anything about it. That's why there are different explanations in articles on the Internet. You can choose anything you like, and to prove that this answer is correct. This is exactly what the holy war is about. Prove that your answer is correct, or at least make another QA QC tester expert specialist respect your opinion. And that is our answer to the question. What is the difference between QA, QC and testing?